I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and here today with me is Dr. Cal Kateka, President of Junior Gold Report. Thanks so much for being here today. Great, thank you for having me. Yes, and we're here on the end of day one of PDAC. What can you tell me about what you've seen so far? The environment is quite interesting, I think. Yeah, it's very interesting. It is uh, the world's premier finance and uh, precious metals conference, but um, the crowd is not as, uh, I guess, say thick as it was many years ago, right? When I first attended in 02 uh, and all the way up, even, even towards last year, but that's expected with with the coronavirus scare, you know, mm -hmm. but the sentiment for gold is still very strong, right? But there's still a lot of people here, and it's still very exciting. Right, and you spoke this afternoon here. Can you tell us what you talked about in your, your presentation? Yeah, um, thank you. Generally, I talked a lot about the coronavirus, mm -hmm. gold, and the economy, mm -hmm. okay? So let me just start with the economy, okay? A couple of years ago, I believe uh, when I was interviewed by INN, mm -hmm. or it was maybe three years ago, and it's not because I'm brilliant, it just, it just happened. In 20, I, I, I predicted in 2020, 2021, mm -hmm. we'd have an economic downturn, and we did, okay? Now, it was precipitated by, unfortunately, a virus, okay? But I think it was also a little bit of an excuse because the market was so froth, okay? Right. And I said, the downturn probably lasts until the end of 2021. This is about three or four years ago, mm -hmm. right? So I think it's gonna last probably a little bit longer. Okay? I don't think we're gonna see the Dow up to close to 30,000 again for quite some time. Right, I did look up that interview yes. before we talked today. So we're, we're now at this place where you predicted, what can you tell us about what may happen going <laughs> in that year or year or two? Right, Yeah. I hope I'm wrong. Okay. Um, I believe it's going to get a lot worse before it gets a lot better. A lot of information, I believe, is being submerged on this coronavirus, and it doesn't really matter how this virus was created or got out or whatever theories people have. What matters is what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. Now, Africa had its first case in Nigeria just uh, uh, a few days ago. Now, if it becomes a pandemic in Africa, that's, it's going to be really hard in, in that sense. Um, socially, economically, it's going to have a lot of deaths. It's just unfortunate. Um, it, it's going to be more of a pandemic than I think uh, people think. And also, it already has a big economic impact mm -hmm. in Europe, right? Schools shutting down in Japan. Um, and I believe our government should be more vocal about the coronavirus and, and its potential impact, okay? Right, so when you're talking about a downturn, you're thinking globally, not globally. in one country, but the whole world would be impacted by right. what's going on here. A global, more economic collapse, um, mm -hmm. comparing it to probably 08, mm -hmm. and in the same maybe ballpark, maybe worse, but it's, it's, it's more different now. It's just not just gonna be economical. It's gonna be social, political, um, a lot of um, health care, so it's not just economic. It's, it's, it's way worse. Okay, so explain, um, kind of break that down for me if you can. And if you also can, can we look at what that might mean for metals markets, which is what we're all kind of here at PDC yeah, to talk exactly. about. Yeah, exactly. Unfortunately, um, when there's a lot of calamity, gold goes up, mm -hmm. right? So I believe gold is going to rise. Now, a lot of individuals ask, well, what's gonna happen with the junior mining market? So as we saw just last week, gold went down, junior mining went down, the mm -hmm. stocks went down, junior mining stocks went down, okay? So a lot of people throw the baby with, out with the, you know, uh, the bathwater, and what we have to realize is that there, out of 100 junior mining stocks, maybe 10 are worth it. So good management, good team, good finance, good people, whatever, good properties, and now maybe three are worth investing in, okay? So, I believe even though gold will rise, I don't think junior mining market is gonna rise that high at this point. So a lot of people ask, well, what should I put in junior exactly. market? Has, has, has it been, uh, yeah, so has it, has it come to the downturn yet? Well, why catch a falling knife? Mm -hmm. Why don't you just wait, see what happens, look at your best stocks, see if you like it, right? If it goes down a bit more, then maybe you can nibble a little bit, but we don't know 
how bad this virus was is going to spread and what exactly is going to happen. Nobody knows that. But I think it's going to be a lot worse than we're being let on, right? So in a sense, are people going to be start feeding their kids or buy junior mining stocks or Apple stocks or, or whatever? Yeah, and you know, there's a lot of fear, right? And it's, it's easy to say to investors, like, you know, just wait, wait for them to go down. But how do people, how can people really remain calm and level-headed it's headed in an environment like this? It's hard to, mm -hmm. and it's natural not to say level-headed, right? So when, you know, people are panicking, that's when people should be buying, mm -hmm. okay? We're not, we haven't hit the panic stage yet. Yeah. Okay, so let the panic stage happen. And if it does, then maybe buy it. But I don't think, even though we've gone down a lot in the market, I think we have a, a lot more calamity to come. And does that apply to gold too? Because we did see gold uh, falling along with the market last week, which was right. I think confusing for right. people. Well, people have margin call. People want to get into cash to sell everything. And we saw that you know, in, in many types of other past recessions. But in the, in the, the, it's about the end game. And the end game is, I believe, gold is going to rise as the market falls. Now in 08, this happened, gold, you know, hover around the eight to 900 range, but the stocks, the mining stocks didn't really go up. And then all of a sudden they started rising because the market started rising as well. Okay, mm -hmm. and then gold started rising and we had our great time of 2010 to 2011, right? So it's a little bit different because the markets are actually decreasing yeah. and the gold's gonna go up so then the stocks are going to go generally where the stock market is going to go for junior mining stocks or precious metal stocks. But there will be some shining stars out there which, which people can invest in. And you know, it's going to play out. So it, this could change in two months, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is what the next short term. Okay, so we've talked a little bit about we're waiting to hit that bottom for gold, I guess, and it will go up. What What is the top limit that you see? We hear a lot of people right now saying, gold could take out its previous high in the next cycle. What are your thoughts there? Correct. So years ago I was asked, you know, when's gold going to hit 2000 now? Gold was just recently about 1150 about a year ago. So it's gone up a four or $450. So it could go up that much again in a year and over, over 2000. As quickly as the market went down this last couple of weeks, gold could really go up and even more. But, you know, you're still young, but you know, I turned 50. Now, when I was, the day before I was 49, and then I turned 50, what really changed? Really, like, I felt the same, I was the yeah. same person, you know, I didn't have any more aches and pains. Same with gold, what's, what's gonna happen when gold goes to 2000? Really, it doesn't mean the junior markets are gonna start rising, it's more psychological, okay? So I think people are really caught up on gold hitting a certain range, Right. right, which which is normal, but it, it, it's the fact that it, there's so many factors. So it's it's a coronavirus. It's, it's it's social. It's economic. It's political. Now the market might start rising. Due to money, my market might start rising when gold's at twenty five hundred and not two thousand, right? Yeah. Or at eighteen hundred and not two thousand. But it just it's just a psychological. Yeah, and that kind of goes back to a theme that I keep seeing, which is what is more important for gold? Is it the underlying factors or is it the more uh, short-term things? And coronavirus kind of seems to fit both of them. It's a short-term thing, maybe, or maybe it will last longer, but it's put into motion maybe all of these long-term yeah. things. Yeah, so again, my thoughts on the coronavirus, it's, it's a little longer than a short-term thing. Yeah. And it's going to affect a lot of people politically. Uh, geographically, socially, economically, all these things. All these things. So okay. it's a factor that I think it is a good time, in a sense, to invest in precious metals. But a lot of people are going to be on the sidelines. They'd rather feed their kids than buy shares, which is normal. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah, and I think we're going to see a lot more bankruptcies happening right now, um, not uh, not just in precious metal companies, but throughout. Okay. So we're gonna hit chaotic recession levels in the next year or two. Okay, um, I'll let My you opinion. finish up right yeah. here, but um, best piece of advice for investors in this scenario, if you could sum it up. Okay, I'm not a um, financial advisor. Mm -hmm. This is just my thoughts. And you know, I got lucky with a prediction uh, a couple of years ago that I thought we'd have 
downturn this year and next year. And again, the catalyst, unfortunately, was a virus. I'll just tell you what I'm doing, yeah. okay? Um, I'm trying to stay in cash. Mm -hmm. And if my favorite junior mining stocks come down and people are really fearful, maybe I'll start nibbling away or buy more. Mm -hmm. okay. You got your shopping list. Yeah, so that is um, um, what I'm doing. Okay, perfect. I think we'll leave it there. Great. Thank you so much for being here. Once again, I'm Charlotte McLeod with the Investing News Network, and this is Dr. Chalkatek. Thank you.